Alright guys, so now that we have a custom row design or a custom list item design, we need to make a custom adapter. Because remember, adapter is essentially responsible for taking code and converting it to this list item right here. So the one we had by default is right here, simple list item, and that only works with text. However, we have images and kind of weird layout right now, so that's why we need to create a custom one. So go to your package, and this is just going to be one file. So right click, new, Java class, and I'm just going to name it custom adapter. Hit OK. And actually, I already have my imports copied, so I'm going to paste them right in there. So if you want to pause the video and copy all those, then go ahead. Or if you just want to copy it from my website, you can do that too. Whatever. All right. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of public. So we just have class. And I want to, actually you need to, inherit from array adapter. So this essentially says, OK, what we're creating here is an array adapter or an adapter to take an array and convert it to our own custom view. And let me arrange this. All right. So just like before, right in here, what we need to say is, what data are we working with? Well, the array that we're going to enter is just um, an array of strings. So that's why we put string right there. So it's giving us error because it says, whenever you make an array adapter or you're trying to convert code to that view, you first need to use the constructor. So hit Alt, Insert, Constructor, Array Adapter, right like there. And as you see, whenever we have the constructor, the error disappears. So we have two parameters that got passed in, context and int resource. Now this int resource right here is going to be that array itself. Now instead of an integer, it was actually a string array. So we're going to be passing in a string array as our resource, and we'll just call it foods so we can work with it. So of course we need to change this to foods. Now this context, whenever you see context, it just means information. And for right now, it's just background information that whenever you pass it along to the super class, it needs. So we don't really have to worry about that. It's behind the scenes. Pretty cool. However, what we do need is the super class needs one more parameter. And in the middle, put r.layout. And whatever you named your file, I named mine custom row. Stick that right in there. So whenever you create an object, a custom adapter, you're going to accept a string and just treat it as foods. And for the layout, for each individual row or list item, use custom row. So it's going to go over to custom row. It says, OK. So right now, it has this string. And it's looking at this. And obviously, as human beings, we can say, OK, well, the text obviously goes in there. But this program isn't as smart as us, so that's what we have to do right now. So go back to custom adapter, and we're going to create one more method. And this is actually an override method, so hit Alt, Insert, and Override Methods. And it is called Get View. Where are you at? Did I just see it? Get View right there. All right. So what this is, and let me just get rid of all of that. So get view is where we say, hey, for those strings that we passed in, this is where I want you to put them. This is how I want you to lay it out. So the first two rows are actually just housekeeping. If you go to layout inflator, I think I talked to you guys about inflator before. Anytime you see the word inflate, it's kind of, I don't know why Android named it inflate, to be honest. It just means like prepare or get ready for rendering. It's how Android deals with laying things out on your activity. But you can just name it anything you want. Bookies. Inflator. That sounds pretty cool. And just set this equal to layout inflator from get context. And by the way, context, I think I just said this, but anytime you see context, it just means background information. Boring stuff. All right. Now, the important part is this view, custom view. And this is essentially going to be equal to one custom row. 
So Mac view row tomato tomato. But if you set this equal to Bucky's inflator inflate r dot layout custom row or whatever you named your file right there parent and false and that just has to deal with if you inflate anything to a parent but we aren't worried about that so the next thing we have to do is just get a reference to everything three different things the first thing we need is a reference to these strings right here the second thing we need is a reference to this text element and the third thing is a reference to this so to do that it's pretty simple the first thing I'm gonna do is get single food item and that's just something in my array and in order to do that just put get item position because these did I say these this can't even talk today of course is the position of each item in your list and we saw that in the last tutorial well actually like three tutorials ago whatever so now we just wanna get a reference to that text element that we created last time of course that's a text view and our custom view which is a reference to this file remember on here what we can do is we can just call find view by ID R dot ID dot Bucky's text and do the same thing with image. So that was actually an image view, Bucky's image, and set this equal. Actually, I don't think I gave that image an ID. All right, so well, I did now, sucker. So this is Bucky's image and set this equal to image view custom view custom view find view by ID and that's r dot ID dot Bucky's image where you at there you are uh uh there you are alright so now we have a reference to everything that we need now pretty self explanatory we're gonna take Bucky's text which is that text element on the activity and we're just gonna set the text of it to whatever food item it's referencing the next thing we want to do is take that Bucky's image and in order to change the image you actually call set image oh, not, image resource right there now of course r dot drawable dot chunky all right so again, what this is going to do is it's going to change the text dynamically to each one of these items. However, since I didn't feel like loading in a bunch of different images or sticking those in an array, um, I'm just calling the same one over and over again. So it's just going to show my face over and over and over again. But uh, of course, later on, whenever you make an actual app, you would obviously want to change that. Unless you made an app and you just wanted to see my face a bunch of times, which I don't blame you because I'm beautiful. But the last thing we have to do here is just return custom view. So of course this which we just created the whole point of these tutorials is create a custom view so we have to return it essentially saying hey use that. Now the last line of code that we have to do is this. Right now our adapter is still using this basic boring adapter and obviously we just made this sweet custom one so we can use this cool row so let's change this right here now the first thing you do is well we can keep the same name why the heck not but instead of array adapter actually we can just delete all that alright so of course instead of array adapter which was that boring built-in one let's go ahead and set this equal to custom adapter thank you very much now of course this for the constructor remember it's just the context which is background information and the second thing is passing that foods array so of course foods and boom there you go so I mean that's that ladies and gentlemen so let me go ahead and pause and run it and hopefully we don't got any bugs and check it out, we now got custom rows, ham, tuna, candy, meatball, potato. Click in it, and it says potato. 
Meatball, this is the best app ever. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Obviously, this is the coolest app ever because it looks like all of your contacts are me and these are <laughs> all my nicknames so that ladies and gentlemen is how you create not only apps with let me get this out of this trying to explain this here in Android Studio but that is how you create apps with list views using generic layouts and also custom layouts right there so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will smell y'all later.